Welcome again, Wildcats. All right, so today we're looking at Friday, May 12th, and we're looking at not real world trig word problems on page 84. And just an update on Monday, there will be no school. All right, so I assume you, by now that your table of contents are updated, so let's look at our notes. All right. So on page 84, we're looking at not real world trigonometry. So solving trigonomic word problems. Step one, draw the picture. Step two, choose the appropriate trig ratio. Step three, solve for the side or the angle. Step four, write a sentence explaining the solution. So if you would, update your notes. All right, now that your notes are updated, let's take a look at the examples. All right. Example one, the Empire State Building stands 850 feet tall. How far away are you standing if the angle of elevation is 42 degrees? All right, so step one, we're going to draw the picture. Okay. Let's see, there's our Empire State Building. It's 850 feet feet tall and you are standing so you're standing right here with their temple wildcats hat all right and the angle of elevation is 42 degrees. Okay. And so we want how far away? So there's X. All right. So step two, choose the appropriate tree ratio. Well, we have opposite over adjacent, so we're going to use tangent. So tangent of 42 degrees equals 850 divided by x. All right, you cross multiply and divide, so you get x equals 850 divided by tangent of 42 degrees, which is Nine hundred and forty four point zero two one feet. All right, and then for step four, you'd write a sentence. So you would say that you are standing nine hundred and forty four point zero two one feet away from the Empire State Building. And then you can just write that here. I'm not going to write it in the video because I don't want to add more minutes to the video, but you can take time to write the sentence there. All right, so go ahead and finish up your sentence. I'm going to stare at you while you do that. Okay, I'm assuming you've got it now, so now let's take a look at example two. All right, from the top of a tower... So as I'm reading this, I'm going to do step one, draw the picture. So from the top of a tower, the angle of depression. Now the angle of depression is, pay close attention, I apologize, but on Tuesday I made a mistake. Or no, on Monday I believe on when the, the examples or assignment problems or both, I made a mistake. The angle of depression is actually right here. Okay. So if the angle of depression is 60 degrees, it's actually 60 degrees right here. Okay, and again, that was my mistake in um, explaining that. And I deeply, gratefully, Wildcat, apologize to you for doing that. But the angle of depression is right here. And the reason why that's important is if... Whoa.
here's your angle of depression. If this is 60 degrees, then this is 60 degrees. And we know that because this makes a right angle. So this has to be 30 and this has to be 30. Okay. All right. So it says stake on the ground. So this is your stake on the ground. Now the tower is 80 feet tall. Okay. How far is the stake from the base of the power? So this is X. Okay. So now you have to draw the picture. Okay. And remind me actually, because I made the mistake, to go back and on some of the examples to correct that in class and so we can talk about that. Okay. Um, all right. So we have, it looks like opposite over adjacent. So we can use tangent. So tangent of 60 degrees is equal to opposite, which is 80 divided by x. Well, you cross multiply and divide, so you get x equals 80 divided by tangent of 60 degrees, not 600. That should be a degree symbol. So 80 divided by tangent of 60 is 46.188. Okay. All right. And so that is, I believe, feet. And then I'm not going to do it in the video, but go ahead and do that. But go ahead and do step four, write a sentence. So you would say um, the stake is 46.188 feet from the base of the tower. All right, so with that, I think we should all leave for New York to go see the Empire State Building. Um, so after after you watch this video, go ahead and leave, get buy a plane ticket, or we'll all go see the Empire State Building, and we'll come back and we'll work on this lesson on Friday. So with that, have an Empire State Building of a Wildcat Day.